thing that really came to, to bear here in the last 10 years when you look at social media, because everybody said, okay, we'll get a website up, we'll get on YouTube, we'll get a YouTube channel, we'll, you know, we'll tweet, and everything's gonna be great. They're gonna love us, they're gonna come to it. But unfortunately, this kind of brand to customer communication is really not what customers want. They want brand to customer to customer to back to brand. They want a dialogue with that. And one of the projects we've been doing recently on storytelling with the BMW is based on taking consumer-based stories produced by customers, uh, put on the website or social media site for BMW, and looking at the impact on relationship, trust, consideration of BMW brand and the brand image kinds of strengths for that brand. And what we found was that if you put stories on, as opposed to this brand to, you know, brand story to consumer, rather it's a consumer story of my life and how it's changed my life, on a site that's legitimized by the brand, you can see in the, the, these cases at BMW, 30% increase in the percent of people who will consider BMW for the next purchase. So it's a big factor. And I think it is that culmination, if you can have brand and trust and then back that up with communication with new media but not push from the brand to the customer rather customers to customers and customers back to brand in a dialogue social media is an interesting one there because uh, in this new world of customers talking to each other and to talking to brands companies really are afraid of what customers might say and so they're, they're afraid of negative input. So they want to control what's there. Uh, that's really defeating the purpose of what consumers say. And in fact, you know, there will be no secrets. Those will come out in other channels than the brand. So by using consumer and brand communication and having a, a mechanism to kind of cut the you know, outliers of slanderous wrong statements, uh, you can have a very successful dialogue. And storytelling, I think, is the key to doing that. It's soliciting from consumers their stories, uh, providing the incentives for them to share them, putting them on social media with the web. So BMW, as a result of our study, actually created a new site called Hashmark BMW Stories. And it's on Twitter, and it's on YouTube, and it's on their website. And that really puts you in the position where you share, you know, how BMW affected my life. You know, my, one of the stories we used in the research was about a person whose family said, well, you have a twin, but the twin was a BMW that they bought when he was born. And when he got his driver's license, he drove it, and he drove it for 30 years. And the story was my life of my twin. So those are engaging, and their brand loyalty, and they're, they're very positive, and the brand can stand behind that. So I think that's the kind of dialogue you have to get, and companies have to be a little more willing to take risk, kind of say, okay, we're, you know, uh, we're on the same team, so to speak, if we've got this trust.